This lecture is about hot topics in orthopedics. There is a unique feature in the community section of YouTube. It allows us to quiz our audience. And these quizzes can be through an image poll or a text poll. And here there's an image poll. And we ask the question, what is the mechanism of this ankle fracture? And the majority of people got it correct, 69%. But sometimes the viewers select the wrong answers. That's why we're making this lecture, myself and Dr. Goodhouse, who works in Hicksville, Ohio. So what are the most common questions? that the audience got it wrong. And here you can see a fracture sacrum. Which one has more neurologic deficit? And apparently, they think it's type two sacral fractures. And the fact it is type three sacral fractures, which is option number three. The fracture is in the sacral canal. Another question in the pelvis, a lateral compression fracture. How the patient dies in the first 48 hours? They thought it's an arterial bleed. It is not. It is a head injury. The anteroposterior compression is the one when the pelvis opens up and use a sheet to close it. The anteroposterior compression fracture has a lot of bleeding, but the lateral compression fracture does not have a lot of bleeding. It can have a head injury, and this is how the patient dies. Another question, how many centers on the surface of the osteoclast? The majority said it's three centers. No, it is two centers. One for the rank and one for the calcitonin. Another question, which cell produces rank L? The thoughts on osteoclast. Rank L works on the osteoclast. Osteoclast does not produce rank L. Osteoclast produce enzymes that eat the bone, digest the bone. Rank L is produced by the osteoplast. It activates the osteoclast. Calcitonin inhibits the osteoclast. Sensation of the foot is confusing. And when they ask them about the sensation in the red area, they said it comes from the deep perineal nerve. And that was a wrong answer. It comes from the sure nerve. And when we ask them about sensation in the area marked by the green arrow, they said it comes from the medial plantar. And the correct answer is it comes from the saphenous nerve. Here is a picture of the bottom of the foot. Here you can see the saphenous nerve area. And here you can see the shorter nerve area. But you can also see the area of the medial plantar and lateral plantar. Try to memorize that. This is another area of major confusion. The abductor muscles is supplied by the superior gluteal nerve. But when it ruptured and you can repair it, you can have to use the gluteus maximus muscle as a muscle transfer. The gluteus maximus nerve is the inferior gluteal nerve. So when we ask the question, when we can do the repair, the muscle transfer that's used 
is supplied by which nerve did shows the superior gluteal nerve no the superior gluteal nerve is the nerve of the muscle that's injured that he that he cannot repair it the gluteus maximus is the muscle that is transferred and the inferior gluteal nerve is the nerve of the gluteus maximus here you can see the piriformis deciding which one is superior which one is inferior the structures above the piriformis are superior the structures below the piriformis are inferior another confusing question when the nerve is injured what is the type of a nerve fibers that is lost first and return last it is the motor fibers the winking owl sign is not an infection is not congenital is not osteoporosis it is a tumor although the majority got it correct but a fair number of people got it wrong what is the most common location for the os acromial which line will show you the area and the majority chose the blue line no it is the red line the os acromial have four centers as you can see here and the most common area where the os acromial occurs or where there is a failure of ossification centers to fuse is between the meta and the meso the red line another question about too many toes which tendon is injured and the answer was digitorum because you got the toes and then they think it is the toes no it is the tibialis posterior tendon rupture that give you too many toes here is a question about the long thoracic nerve that arises from c5 c6 and c7 its injury will cause what medial winging of the scapula the lateral winging comes from injury to the spinal accessory nerve another question about the musculocutaneous nerve supply sensation to it should be to the lateral forearm not the medial forearm another question about the structures marked number two will go through a space or interval triangular or quadrangular and the answer is it is a triangular interval triangular interval the triangular interval will contain the deep branch of the brachial artery and the radial nerve and when i asked the question differently i identified the intervals and the space to them and i asked them about which finger to the left that got the yellow question mark and they knew it they knew it is the long head of the triceps So here you go. These are the interval and the spaces. If you go below the teres minor, you get the axillary nerve. It's in the quadrangular space. If you go below the teres major, you get the radial nerve. It is in the triangular interval. Bone and ligaments has collagen. Which type? usually it is type 1 collagen bone type 1 everything attached to the bone 
type 1. Cartilage is type 2. The nucleus pulposus and the hyaline cartilage is type 2. Osteoplast inhibition is mediated by esclerostin. Esclerostin has an inhibitory effect on the wind pathway, reducing the activity of the osteoplast. Here there are some spine questions. Somebody with low back pain and hyperreflexia and gait disturbance, what do you do next? You're supposed to get MRI of the C-spine, not operation on the lower back. Here there is a question about the patient with severe low back pain for two days. A normal neurologic exam. What do you do next? You're supposed to send the patient back to work as guided by the symptoms, but the majority got an MRI, which is the wrong answer. Here is a patient with lumbar stenosis. You are supposed to examine the peripheral pulses to differentiate between vascular and neurogenic claudication, and you are not supposed to get EMG and nerve studies. It doesn't help you. Here is a patient with low back pain for six months. No rehab given to the patient. What is the chances of the patient going back to work? 50%, not 90%. How do you differentiate between hip, SI joint, and the spine problems? How do you know which one is the primary source of pain? Inject the SI joint. MRI will not help you in that situation. What is the most common indication for revision total knee arthroplasty in the United States of America? It is infection. What are the best insulin nerves? It is the obturator, the sciatic, and femoral nerve. What is the last phases in the upper extremity to close? It's not the proximal humerus. It is the medial clavicle. True positives over true positives plus false negatives is sensitivity. The way I remember it, I said sensitivity got an N. It's not negative. The specificity is the negatives.